Hello everyone, it's me, Pam P. Tanino, and I am really excited to um, bring this video to you this week because um, I'm in a collaboration with our co-art co-group, and uh, right now um, it is me and um, Sweet Willow Designs, Maria, and uh, Shami from Crafts, Names, and Things, Shimmy Dixon, and Ina Salisbury um, from Ina's Art Room, and they are all linked down below as well as in the iCard. Okay, so in this collaboration, we are to start with something in the kitchen that starts in the kitchen, and then add some fabric, some um, metal, something metal, and the beautiful buttons that um, Maria from Sweet Willow Designs made for us. Um, we did have part one where we got together. Look at these gorgeous buttons that she made. And so I absolutely love that. She's so talented. These were made with polymer clay and just, oh, they're beautiful. Um, Okay, so what I've done, I'm working with these, and of course, I think this incorporates the metal, but I'm still going to add some additional metal in the form of wire. And I'm not gonna use all of these, but I did wanna bring up, so I'm gonna use these. I was going through my, my drawer of excess, and um, it's actually like a bin of excess. But, but look, I mean, it. I kept it for a reason, right? So, um, so I'm going to be working with these. I had actually tried to eat with this fork, and because of the way the tines splay out like that, it was very unpleasant in my mouth. That was just awful. So that fork is no longer there. But I did find this fork. And oh my goodness, you guys, look at that. I think, you know, this is definitely a vintage The Oh, I don't know. I don't know, but it is so beautiful. So I was going to use it and just wire wrap around it, but I can't. This is going to be in another project. I almost, I, I have an idea where I want this to go, but I just wanted to share that with you because it is so special. Isn't that just beautiful? Um, and then this fork here, now this is actually a good fork. I'm going to wash this and put this back in my using drawer for like barbecues and stuff or meat. But the reason why I'm not going to use this is the, the metal part goes all the way down and then it's surrounded by the wood. Same thing with this one. See how it goes all the way down? But it has a hole built into it. And I don't have a, um, a drill bit. I don't know if I have a drill bit that would go through the metal, but I'm not going to mess with it. So, um, And then this one here, you can see that the metal part only goes to here, and then it's wood. And so with this, I'm going to start off by drilling a hole in the end, and then, because um, that will let it dangle, and all of these, and the same thing with this. I don't know how far down this shank goes, but I kind of have a feeling it probably doesn't go down very far. This is a plastic handle, and so we'll see. Um, but anyway, just uh, so this is what I'm going to play with are these five pieces. So here we go. <clears throat> okay, so I have my safety glasses, and um, uh, I'm going to start off with just a little tiny starter hole. Not all the way through, but just just enough to give that. Um, the drill bit, and then I have a small drill bit, and I'm just gonna. Oh, and I'm using this block of scrap wood. Um, it's just a scrap, 
And so I have my hole, but I do want it to be a bigger hole. Okay, so I do want a bigger hole. I wish I had done that more. more. Okay. So yeah, I mean it's not in the middle. Oh uh, well, that's okay. Okay, so now I'm just going to apply some gesso to everything. I hope I don't mess these up. I'm scared to death. I wish I could, I would really love to leave them like they are and really and truly use them on another project because I would like them in my journal. I wonder if I'd be okay if I just used one. I don't think I need to use them all because I really would love these in one of my journals. So I'm going to do that. I am. Oh, now which one? So thank you, Maria. I get double duty from your buttons. I just love them so much. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just brushing this on. Okay, so this is dry, and hopefully I won't mess it up. I'm just going to go over real light. Yep. Yep. Okay, so I did a little practice doodle on the back. Hung it up in the window. I wanted to, to show some filled-in areas and then other areas that weren't. So, um, and I don't like the way this doodle came out, but... I hung it both ways, and let me tell you, I like the plane. I really, really like the plane. So, um, so I just wanted to show this because, you know, it just, that's kind of how you work through this kind of process. I am going to use Maria's button right here. I really love it there. I think that's just a beautiful accent. Okay, so I'm using 18 gauge uh, wire. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking a round um, container and I'm using this as my template for the size. And just, let's see, I'll zoom in a little bit. And, and I've shown this in other videos. <laughs> um, I'm just going to wrap this around, and I do want it to overlap. Now, I'm not as worried about it um, slipping through like I was with the really, really thin aluminum on the, uh, on the mobiles. But um, here, I, I want the added security because of the weight. And... If I decide to hang these outside, um, or at any time, you know, just moving them around, I just don't want them coming undone. So I make it come around, sorry, I make it come around like this, and then you can easily separate them so that you can get them through the piece. All right, separate that a little bit more just because I don't want it to. Okay, so I'm gonna s separate this and put it on. And then I'm gonna leave it like this for now. And then it is going to come on the, on the wire. Okay, so for the fabric portion of this, I'm gonna use this ribbon. And it's actually a wire ribbon. Took off. Oh. Okay, so it's really cool about this. I bought this at Tuesday morning, and it, um, you know, it's it's flexible like a ribbon. It has about the, um, I want to say the uh, thickness maybe of a bias tape. And what's really cool about this is you can, it's like a tube. So you could cover something, and now this is not what I'm going to be doing with this, but you can also stretch it. 
and that's a way cool little feature. I'm in love with this. So I didn't buy much when I got it, but when I go back, I am definitely going to buy some more. I'm really liking that. So just to extend it, I'm going to cut it here. I'm also going to cut it here. And then I think I'm just going to dangle some of the crystals for um, added interest. Um, just so that they're they're kind of hanging at at different levels, and so that's that's the plant. See how it opens up, and yeah, so you can twist it and um, oh, I really really like this a lot. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have to share this with you because I am so in love with this ribbon. It is so easy to work with. You know, I'm just taking the end and twisting it, all right? And I did that with the, the little pieces also that I've got dangling here. And then I'm going to dangle a little bit lower these larger pieces. And, um, and so I just put it through the wire. This wire is fixed. And then I just twist it. Oops, am I not in frame? <laughs> Sorry. And then I just twist it here. And it's got a nice finish. You know, it's pretty to look at. It dangles beautifully. And then I twist it at the top. And I'm just going to wrap it around the wire and twist it again. And um, I am loving this. I'm, oh. Okay, so I have a lamp here that um, doesn't have a bulb or, or the shade. And so what I've done is just use some chopsticks to anchor this so that they can hang so I can work on them. I don't know if you can kind of see that. But um, it works well for me. I know it's an odd angle to see this, but... Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm not too worried about these on the ends moving around too much. That's fine, because that's actually what would be great if it were out in the wind. I love the way they make their sound. But um, for the center one, I don't really want that one moving around as much. And so what I'm going to do is just to anchor this... I'm taking the wires to the end over here and then I'm going to weave it and anchor it so um, and they've gone looping around and so they go like that. So this, once I'm done with this side and this side, and actually this side should be sufficient, but I'm going to do this side too, um, uh, just to keep it from, yeah. I'm just going to do both sides. So once I get this down, I'm going to just wrap that around and anchor it. And um, these here, I'm okay with them kind of wobbling a little bit. So um, so let me get this. I'm going to play with the crystals and see how everything lines up. And I'll come back at the end and show you how it all turned out when it's hanging from the window. Okay. Okay, you guys. So here it is in my window. And it's, I'm loving it. <laughs> I really do love it. Now, I'm not sure if this lighting is the best. I mean, we can see the light reflecting through the crystal lamp. But, yeah, this is, I'm really, really happy with the way it came out. Now, I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll add some more crystals to have it hanging more in, hold on in this area here but um but for right now and i'm just gonna let that brew you know sometimes you just need to kind of look at something long enough to see and oh please part <laughs> i am so busted with dirty windows <laughs> so yay you know i haven't done my spring cleaning yet but um anyway and then look at these gorgeous orchids I've got 14 in full bloom and so yeah I think in the morning the um, the light will shine through the crystals hanging up top uh, a little better so we'll see how that comes out and um, if 
I do any improvements on this because I am going to be redoing this window, the whole window. And so I will be looking at um, doing another, kind of another tour. But um, yeah, I need to definitely get more things hanging, hanging up. So um, I hope that you enjoyed this project and the way that it turned out. It's, it's, I think it turned out kind of cute. <laughs> so I hope this inspires you to go through your, your utensil drawers and see what you can come up with to hang and paint. <laughs> All right. I want to thank you so much for watching. Do please be sure to check out my other co-art co um, friends in this collaboration. Uh, there are links below. I'm also going to put them in the iCard. I think we're going to put together a playlist that we could put in the iCard. But uh, do take a look at their wonderful creations. I can't wait to see what they make. And there's four of us on, on this. Um, we're, we're doing it kind of like a video hop. So if you just go to the first link that shows up in the iCard or the top link down in the description below and it'll take you right to the next person and um, again I want to thank you for watching and do give us thumbs up along the way and uh, be sure to leave us a comment alright thanks again for watching until next time bye bye